اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Introduction to scatter plots. Now what we'll do is we will use scatter plot to display the relationship between two quantitative variables. Describe the overall pattern that is the form, direction and strength and striking deviations from the pattern. Example scatter plots, vision and organizational performance. A research scholar intends to explore the relationship between a company's vision and its organizational performance. The scatter plot is an effect plot since the purpose of this study is to explore the effect of vision on organizational performance. Now there are different scatter plots. Now there could be a positive or increasing relationship means that an increase in one of the variables is associated with an increase in the other. So if you increase the vision, the understanding of vision, the better understanding of vision, this will improve organizational performance. So this is a positive relationship. A negative or decreasing relationship means that an increase in one variable is associated with a decrease in other. Let's say you increase the stress. So this will lead to lower organizational performance. And not all relationships can be classified as either positive or negative. So it's neither positive or negative. Then this is another type of scatter plot. Now, for now, we simply describe the shape of the pattern in the scatter plot and linear is the form that we are focusing on. The data points appear scattered about a line. We use a line to summarize the pattern in the data in the strong relationships. Of the scatter plot, the data points closely to the linear pattern. Now, this is a strong relationship. Look at the data points, they are too close to the line. Now, this is a weaker relationship. The data points are scattered all over the scatter plot. Now, these are too far away from the line as well. So, this one is a strong one, and this one here is a weaker relationship because the points are all over the place. Now this, these are the references that are used throughout this series. Now, how do we do scatter plot in SPSS? Now I want a scatter plot between vision and organizational performance, but the point is vision is measured using four items and organizational performance is measured using five items here. Now I'm interested in overall vision and overall performance, not individual items. So what I'll do is I'll create a composite score. So how do you create a composite score in SPSS? Go to transform compute variable. Let's say vision and simply mean VIS one comma VIS two comma VIS three comma VIS four. Now four items for vision parenthesis closed and just press OK and you will have the composite score for vision. Similarly, you can do for OP. I already have it, but let's press OK. And similarly, you can do for OP as well. Now let's do for OP compute variable, simply type in OP and here make sure mean parenthesis open. OP1, comma, OP2, comma, OP3, comma, OP4, comma, OP5 separated by comma parenthesis and now you will have composite score for organizational performance. Okay. Now this is how you create composite scores for your variables that are latent variables measured on individual items. Now how do we do our scatter plot? So go to graphs, legacy dialog, scatter plot. Let's do simple scatter, define the Y is organizational performance, the X is vision and simply press OK. Now here is your scatter plot. Now if you look here, there is a tendency. The score for vision increases and the score for vision increases as well. So you can just click here, go to elements and you can have fit line as well. Look at this. Although they are scattered and not too close to the line, 
but still you can see that the tendency for op the score for op increases as you increase the score for vision so there is a relationship so you see that there is a relationship maybe not that strong and now to gauge that strength of relationship we need correlation coefficient which we are going to do later but here is your r square it is 0.387 so 38.7 percent change in op is being caused by vision which is moderate so this is how you can do scatter plots in spss you can do it through chart builder as well so here is your scatter plot let's have with the line now what is your y-axis so y-axis is my dependent variable axis is my independent variable so vision and let's say let's press ok and here it is now this is how you can do your scatter plot in or rather using chart builder as well thank you very much